Welcome to the Mizzou Health News Network, your source for information about medical care, education, and research at the University of Missouri. The University of Missouri has received a $4.5 million grant for new patient-centered outcomes research at MU. The five-year federally funded project will involve collaborators from MU schools of medicine, nursing, health professions, and journalism. What this grant will do for patients and physicians is first of all increase our capacity to do patient-centered outcomes research. Investigators will examine outcomes in three areas, surgery, skilled nursing, and prescription and decision-making practices in primary care clinics. University of Missouri researchers have discovered that an oil and natural gas drilling technique called hydraulic fracturing or fracking uses chemicals that can disrupt the body's hormones. One of the important things about this study is that it is the first association of hydraulic fracturing chemicals and spills related to endocrine disrupting activity. The important findings of the study are that sites that experienced some sort of spill related to natural gas drilling had about two times the activity of endocrine disrupting chemicals than sites that did not experience a spill. The researchers collected ground and surface water samples at several sites near natural gas drilling operations in Colorado and at sites that experienced little or no drilling in Colorado and Missouri. So overall what this might mean based on laboratory studies is an increase in the risk for infertility, for cancer, for behavioral disorders, and other disorders like immune dysfunction. The University of Missouri Health System's efforts in quality improvement and patient safety have won attention of medical education leaders nationwide. The MU School of Medicine is one of five recipients of the first Learning Health System Challenge Award from the Association of American Medical Colleges. The award recognizes institutions that have implemented innovative, system-wide processes that enhance research in quality improvement, health equity, or electronic health records. So the award recognizes the 10 plus years of work to develop educational activities, evaluation, faculty development, research around how do you educate people so that they finish their training ready, able, and expecting to improve the care that they give to their patients. For the first time, all University of Missouri healthcare employees are participating in quality improvement projects. The new initiative expands on years of emphasis on improving patient care, including an annual event, Sharing Days. One of last year's Sharing Days award recipients has been rated as a Gold Plus Stroke Program by the American Heart Association. The stroke team's project improved treatment time for patients. What we find out was that if the emergency uh, folks can draw the labs on their way to the emergency room, that helps us to cut down the time to administer medic medication to the stroke patients quite significantly by at least 15 to 20 minutes. The call for the 2014 sharing days is now on. We are inviting everyone within UMHS to share their great ideas and their experiences in the way they're improving the way we teach patients and students, the way we do our research to actually improve the care of our patients, and how we are improving our care and the patient's care experience within UMHS. The television anchors of Mid-Missouri are joining together to celebrate Heart Month and to tell you that heart disease doesn't care what you wear. Well, it's important to me to be a part of this campaign. I'm glad to be a part of it, to remind everyone to eat healthy and exercise, you know, just a little bit of exercise each day. Once you hit the couch when you get home, you turn on the TV, it's so hard to get up and keep yourself active and do other things, but I try and take the dog on a walk or get to the gym. In order to keep my heart healthy, one of the main things I do is I'm a runner, and so I really like to go out to like Stevens Lake Park or on the Katy Trail. There's so many great places in Columbia to go and be active. Taking the time to meal plan and getting those great nutrients in your body instead of going through the drive through or something like that. So I would just say, take the time, think about ways to make your heart healthy. I joined a club called the INS Club and we took a pledge and we had a little card that we kept in our wallet and I carried it for years. INS stands for I'll Never Start Smoking. And I never did.
I was honored to be asked to be part of the Red Dress campaign for personal reasons because heart disease does run in my family and because it's a very important issue in our lives because we want to make sure that everybody is aware that it can hit anyone at any age and it's very important to always have yourself checked out and to always try and do everything you can to keep your heart healthy. I think the most important thing about heart health is to do all of those preventative measures that you can get your blood pressure checked, you can make sure that your weight and your diet is in check. And I'm just really glad that I get to be a part of this initiative in the community and, and hopefully create a conversation for other women to want to be a part of it too. So we hope you join the anchors of Mid-Missouri as we celebrate Heart Month. To learn more about medical care, education, and research at the University of Missouri, visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.